Hey guys, you see here, uh, just thought of making a little clip today while market is open and moving, uh, just to kind of help you guys give some idea around some of the trades we took, you know, based on the morning notes and how the price action is changing. So, uh, like always, I think the best way to do it is through examples. Uh, let's start with, let's start with Tesla, right? So what happened in the daily time frame, right? Uh, so here's the, the levels are all here, but for this purpose, the video, uh, we'll, we'll just look at the ones with less number of lines and stuff, right? Just so that you can analyze the price action in a, uh, in a better way. Uh, so what happened, right? Daily view. So we had these two daily bars, right? The previous two day daily bars, these ones, right? And yes, they were red bars right they were showed that the beers uh, for beers for that day were in control but overall from structure perspective it was still sort of a bull flag uh it was not a bearish follow-through right we had a little bit of bottom wicks as well and it never got below 720 uh or 731 the level uh, on an intraday basis that we were looking for it to go weak right so let's go in a 30 minute time frame now today in the morning what happened was this was the channel right it it, it tried to break down below 731 uh so uh yeah it tried to move a little bit down at the open right it was weak as it was below 750 but we saw this big 30 minute bar push it back to the upside uh it never really got below like if i bring the other levels 730 right uh there we go right there so 730 level right it never really showed any big follow through below that we had this first two minute bar right first two minute bar that went below to 731 but then it quickly got back up and we never saw any other rejection from there it just kind of quickly started building and then 743 and then uh, you know one level after the other and still going strong uh pretty looks pretty good 772 giving a little bit of pullback and then back up so now it's trading between 787 and 778 and you can see how many times it gives you uh these bounces at these level for scalp trades these are good levels if you're scalping with shares or even in the money options this is like a good six dollar move to the upside 50 shares that's 300 dollars uh just saying right it never showed any downside so now on the upside 787 is the level that one can play quick rejections but since again you can't be going back and forth so i always like to have a bias for the day so i'm only looking for for bullish side trades in this name right today so i will only look for bounce plays or breakouts things that uh so forth okay uh let's talk about amazon okay so let's go and take a look at the daily view I was not getting bearish on this name just because it has this backing of split news, which keeps it getting bought up. Uh, in a lower four hourly time frame, you can see there was no uh, bearish follow through to this red bar, right? No follow through, absolutely. Tried to break down early in the morning today, but it couldn't take out 2388. Uh, that was sort of a significant level on the downside for it to break and start feeling bearish. But in fact, we did see a four hourly bear, a bullish bar with a nice bottom break and a little bit of follow through right now, right? 25 or 3, if it gets taken out, 25, 25 is the next level to watch on the upside. In a five minute time frame, right? Uh, this was like, you know, it has, has the opening right we have all these bottom wicks around 2412 it was not breaking down right and then it made this sort of a triangle break out to the upside retest it and then went back up right so again price action wise pretty bullish so far right because you see there's more green bars any red bars in five minute time frame don't see any downside follow through uh it's holding any upside key levels it's breaking out above like for example 2450 2476 you know it's it's not it's not breaking down below those levels so that means it still wants higher or it was a good day to look on the bullish side right and if if it helps you maybe wait for the first 15 minutes 20 minutes to see how the market is opening and how the price of an individual stock is acting around its immediate resistance and key and support level right if the support level is being held 
uh, if the rejection the resistance level is being rejected you know you know things are uh, uh, will work a certain way right so for example i'll be honest with you tesla i was bearish below 731 right but i wanted it to break down below that and then i would have shorted it on a retest right but once that theory of mine that setup of mine did not play out that means that that setup is negated that means it's it's higher so you immediately switch uh and of course you don't switch it right away you want to see some price action evidence to support your uh you know for example you know once it tried to break down below it couldn't do it and it took back 743 and then also got back above the pre-market high that was a tell that it's a strong name and anybody who was caught shorting the stock they will be the ones probably fueling this rally right so now right now again an hourly view around 787 it's sort of showing the bull flag here or or maybe a triangle let's see if we go into uh let's say a tick chart right tick chart shows a little bit of consolidation getting tight above 778 so still be bullish no harm above 778 70 72 even it remains bullish so but what will matter is your entry where you enter right so if you're entering as a bullish breakout trade that's what me and any told you in the morning that this is a market where you don't want to be playing bullish breakouts just to be on the safe side rather look for pullbacks in a stronger name to trade right and that's how you that's how you uh, identify these names right uh, square for example in the morning we did not trade it personally but but you know i was looking for the stock to make a move higher actually today and give us a sort of an indecision pause bar and then we would play the setup to the upside tomorrow it did not really do that but still it did not break down so the setup for tomorrow can definitely be a follow-through move to the upside as long as we have a bullish bar bullish daily close in that name right nvidia uh flag breakout here strong name right similar to the other charts that i was showing you in the daily time frame right look at this one these two although bearish bars by themselves but didn't really break down the structure right the structure would have broken down if the price would have gone down below 181 right we tried to do that couldn't do it and then got back up like in a let's say an hourly time frame you can see this was the flag and then we saw this nice move to the upside right all day today uh, above 189 192 even uh, about 186 was the intraday high from yesterday so once it got above that you knew it was sort of getting strong the the bearish action is not playing out so look for those things price action clues uh, combine your uh, viewpoint of the higher time frame into your analysis and then that will really help you guys uh, trade and be consistent with your uh, results in this thing okay all right take to you guys later thank you